In this video, I'll be showing how to get out of the respring, the lo loading icon. So to do this, it's really simple on iOS 11. So it's even more basic than anything else. It's like safe mode. But first, you want to restart your device home and power button at the same time until it turns off and continue holding it until it turns on. And I can just let it restart so it will get you out of the jailbreak. And this, uh, let me show you how to get out again. So don't forget to like and subscribe so you want to see more top 10 and top 5 tweaks. So you can see it just started up again with the Apple logo. So just wait for it to start up. There we go. So we're out of the jailbreak. So it somehow affected my device. You could see that everything is normal. Anemone is there, but it's going to crash. That's what affected my device. So be careful about that. So you want to go back to Electra. Wait till the fire. And click skip. Turn off tweaks. Click the jailbreak. And now it's going to disable and you'll be on open SSH. And you'll be able, just like that, and you'll be able to access Cydia. Because if you're not jailbroken, then you won't be able to do and install anything. So ignore, don't get anything from, you want to first look, so you could see their Cydia installer. So you can click this, and it's by Sorik, so you don't want to install that. So then go back to your tweak, click Anemone is the one that broke. Click modify, remove, confirm, and now you remove the broken tweak. So if you have a broken tweak, this is the method you want to do. So this applies to iOS 11, obviously, and iPhones and iPads. You could see restart springboard, and now it's respringing my device back to its jailbreak. Or if it, no, it actually didn't. Sorry. So now go back. You could see that it just went away. Now we just wait till advertisement again and click jailbreak with tweaks on. So we turned it off to get to SSH so it can remove the tweak because if you go to the normal jailbreak, it will not work. So you could see my tweaks are still disabled and we're still jailbroken. So we have to unjailbreak through the SSH by restarting your device and completely being out of the SSH. So just restart your device again. So sorry if I accidentally like clicked the jailbreak, but it was already jailbroken even though it was not running it. It was still jailbroken with SSH. So now we're going to be fully off the jailbreak and then just re-jailbreak with the toggle. So if you know how to do it, then yeah. But I hope you're still watching. So now it just restarted. Now we're officially off the jailbreak. Because previously, to check if you're still jailbroken, Cydia would open. There we go. It crashed. Open up Electra again. Wait till the add. Click cancel or skip. Keep the tweaks on. Click jailbreak. And just wait until Cydia, I mean, not Cydia, but Electra does it thing. Two out of three. So now, there we go. Now it's going to restart and you'll have your tweaks back on. Cydia is going to be functioning again. And there's no problems at all. You can see it's going back here, but that's totally fine because the tweak, the broken tweak, is going to be removed. I highly don't recommend installing Anemone because it's pretty much broken. You could see now we're back in our. You could see I have these two. Now I'm officially back on jailbreak. I can install my tweaks again, more tweaks without anything happening. You could now get in and no longer any respring. So. I hope this helped you out. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Four away from 200 subscribers. Thanks for watching and peace.